Do you want to see the PLX HCR Healy Forged Glue and Bolt from Fix Hardware Break in Shear with Hilti V3500 glue in our concrete tests? Check it out on this episode of How Not to Highline. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ryan Jinx and welcome to Bolt Busters, where we're breaking a lot of climbing bolts in order to satisfy all of our curiosity about what we can do with these and not die. Today, we're going to break test the Fix Hardware's Forged Glue and Bolt. This has a weird name, the Healy HCR PLX Duplex Stainless Glue and Bolt. Now, let me explain some of that. The PLX part of that is a duplex steel. Duplex steel is stainless steel, but fancier. It's supposedly more corrosion resistant and a little bit more resistant against stress crack corrosion, which can happen in corrosive environments like in Thailand or near the beach. However, there are some scenarios that have been reported where this, at least in the past, has kind of rusted. So, um, right out the gate, I just want to say, if you are going to be right next to the ocean, we do recommend titanium bolts, because those will never corrode in your lifetime. So, if that is a, an issue for you, please go with titanium. But anyways, these are pretty fancy. The way this rod goes is in order to, it, the, the point is for it to eliminate bubbles. So as you install it, and as you twist it in, the glue will surround the shaft entirely. As far as the head goes, it's not welded like so many other glue and bolts. Other bolts that don't have welds on them, like the wave bolt, are basically a skinnier rod that goes around and is bent to be in the shape it needs to be. And what I don't like about those is you're dealing with a skinnier rod. This has a nicer surface to pull, which you can thread your rope in directly. As far as the eye size goes, you can get three carabiners in here, two of which you can load properly, but the third one is not going to sit in there well and probably break significantly lower than it's rated. Our first brake test was pulling, 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 and it stressed out the first inch of the rod until it snapped at 30.94 kilonewtons. We did again and it broke in the same way where it snapped right below the surface of the concrete at 29.8 kilonewtons. Broke, broke the bolt out of the hole. It breaks it in the same way as it does when we test it in tension. 29.8. And our last test broke again in the same way at 27.74 kilonewtons. Okay, 123 broke the same way. Oh my gosh. This slow mo thing is so annoying. Um, 123 broke same way. Pop the glue, it has some concrete still attached to it. Um, bolts snapped and let's see. Okay. Did we break it, Bobby? 27.7. 27.74. We use the Hilti V3500 glue. We really like that glue. It is probably the best epoxy on the market. Uh, however, our glue was four months expired, but it had no effect on this test. And we also like to test if expired glue is good, and it is technically a lot cheaper for us to use expired glue. Um, the Bolt Products Solid Leg 8 millimeter bolt, which uses a 10 millimeter hole, just like this one, also broke basically almost exactly the same as this one. So they're very, very comparable. Now, these are in the 30 range. If you wanna use the Titan HD threaded concrete screws, you can get them in stainless steel and they're breaking around 40, mid 40s kilonewtons. They're quite a bit stronger. They're a lot cheaper to install. So if money is an issue for you, um, 
they're pretty much just as good. They're the workhorse of all of our brake tests when we need to stabilize our hydraulic cylinder or we're testing hangers. That's our go-to bolt, and I recommend that if money is an issue for you. Um, these aren't bad, and they're not something I'm, you know, stoked on. They're just, they're just there.